Hey Kendrick, what motivates you to motivate people in shitty situations? Because when I got diagnosed, I didn't know what the hell to think and I didn't know where to go. What do you do when you're diagnosed with a disease, an illness, when you have a few of them and there's no cure for it? Not one, not two, you got a couple from your stomach to your back to your brain to your spine, everything. If you're diagnosed with cancer, as fucked up as it is, you know there's an end. If you get hit with a car and you have these terrible physical limitations, it's your physical limitations. I didn't know of anybody who spoke to a community, a tribe like mine, where everything is leaving. There is no end in sight. Your sight, your brain, everything is leaving. You're pissing and shitting on yourself. Everything is leaving. And all they can offer you is a way to maybe slow it down and it may speed up. And then you take shit and it fucking speeds up. And people are telling you what to think and how you need to think negative and be more positive. And it's just like, yo, Doug, who the fuck do I talk to? Where the hell do I go? I need somebody who knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Who can feel the fear, the anger, the pain in my voice. So I had to become that goddamn person. That's me. Your professor of gratitude. And I do it with that damn gratitude journal to keep me from being so negative about everything that's fucked up around me. I am that person. That's why I am motivated to do this shit. Because there was nobody else doing it. So I had to be it. That's me. The University of Gratitude podcast is for anybody rocking chronic illness, abandonment, or dealing with these physical limitations. I know because I have all three. I'm a black man who is doing his best to keep something independent and raise these kids and still be a viable source of anything for the family. Come rock with me every single day on the University of Gratitude podcast. Find a way to keep your spirits up and your mindset even stronger.